Hi, everybody. I am so excited to be chatting with you guys. I binge watched every episode of Pretty Smart this weekend. Literally obsessed, like A plus <laughs> comedy sitcom. I'm into it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ray. Yeah, of course. And then my, fir my first question is for all of you guys, just to kind of warm us up. Can you sell the show in one sentence? Like, what do you think fans should be most looking forward to? Michael, if you'd like to start. Um, yeah. Uh, do you like good friends? Watch Pretty Smart. Love it. And then Greg, what's yours? Oh, this, honestly, there's so many words that I could use, but because I don't want to say a word that doesn't tap on the comedy because it's really funny, um, but it's also really charming too. So, you know, it's it's charming, funny, heartfelt. I don't know, but... Uh, <laughs> we'll take that. That's a yeah, sentence. Absolutely. There's, there's <laughs> sentences, words. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And then Cynthia, how would you sell it? Oh my, I don't know. I'd say like, if you want to be a fly on the wall to a group of really quirky, fun, sexy people in LA, you got to tune in and watch Pretty Smart. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. That would hook me. That would hook me on the show right away if I wasn't already aware of it. So <laughs> perfect. Greg, my first question is for you. Can you talk to me a little bit about your character, Grant? How were you challenged throughout the series? What kind of character development should we expect from him? Uh, well, I'd say, I, honestly, I think uh, one of the biggest challenges is was for me was to make sure that the Grant and Claire relationship and the fact that they dated was believable although we don't actually see that much on the page throughout season one. So you see a lot of Grant and Chelsea, but I thought it was really important to me in any moment possible where Grant and Claire could connect, they would connect. Because at the end of the day, if you've dated someone for three years, you know, there's a special relationship there. And so it was to me, it was making sure that the audience believed that there was a relationship, a uh, pre-existing relationship without having any real scenes um, or without visualizing it at all. So, um, you know, and then obviously treading that line between, oh, there's a new person. Uh, this person's really smart and intelligent and something so different and unique. And oh, oh am I attracted to her? But also, wait, that's my ex-girlfriend's sister. Like, how am I going <laughs> to, like, what's that going to end up like? So uh, obviously throughout the season, the audience uh, will get to see uh, where Grant is gravitating towards or who Grant is gravitating towards. Yeah, that's incredible. So much careful thought that you put into that character as well. That's awesome. I mean, look, some it, of it- It looked effortless. It was some, some of it may have got cut out, you know, but, but any looks, any moments, anything that I could possibly do to tie that relationship together, I tried. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. It was incredible. I mean, your performance was great. And then- Michael, so you have a pretty impressive resume. You have been on stage, on screen, Broadway, Netflix's elite ballet series, Pretty Little Things. Um, what was it like getting into character for Pretty Smart? You kind of went from playing these characters who embarked on these like more traditional art forms to playing this like super cool influencer, like totally topical and relevant. Just talk to me a little bit about um, how that challenged you as an actor in your process. Well, I mean, it, it definitely was, it felt, it did feel totally new. It's true. Like, you know, for anyone who watched the, the last show that was on for Netflix, Tiny Pretty Things like that, this is the basically most opposite character you could possibly conceive of from Nabil. Uh, Jaden is um, extremely extroverted, very expressive. He's a total showman. Um, I think for me, it was like reconnecting with, <laughs> this sounds kind of corny, but like with, with the, with my inner child a little bit like I think that Jaden is very unfiltered he's very confident and he's very expressive and he doesn't really put himself through too many different ironically because he's a social media influencer he's like very everything is sort of very controlled but I think on the version that we see of him on the show he's just like throwing himself out there all the time and just trying to like connect with people and be expressive and tell people how he feels uh and and that sort of self, you know, that sort of freedom of expression and like, and silliness, to be honest, like felt more like, you know, being a kid and like performing for them, my parents in my living room. Um, so tapping into that, <laughs> and that impulse to always sort of like 
you know, have a little flair, uh, show off a bit. Um, that was like reconnecting with my, with my younger self a little bit. Oh, that's awesome. And then Cynthia, so you play this spiritual guru, totally obsessed. We love her. Where did you look for inspiration to create this character? Like, did, were you stalking anybody on Instagram? Were you reading any books? I definitely was reading some books. I was looking up some crystal Bibles. I went to get my cards read multiple times. I got my chakras balanced. There's this wonderful woman named Jude. She works out of Hawaii. She's a healer. And I had some Zoom sessions with her. Even after I wrapped on the, the show, I still meet with her on Instagram. She's uh, Align and Shine Kauai. She's wonderful. Jude Lynch helped me so much for this character. But yeah, I also went and got some energetic work done and just got my Reiki sorted out, my chakras. Like I just did everything. I really dove into this character and tried all these new things that I hadn't tried before that I've actually taken on in my day-to-day -day life now after we've wrapped and that's been really great it's been a lot of fun yeah that is awesome well thank you guys so much for taking the time to chat with me i had an incredible time learning the behind the scenes of your guys's characters i can't wait to see everyone's reaction when pretty smart drops on netflix friday october 8th thanks raven thank, thank you raven yeah.